ball with a 10-minute time limit. In the red corner, at 255 pounds from Omaha, Nebraska, the new North American heavyweight champion, Ted DiBiase. And in the blue corner, at 240 pounds, from Savannah, Georgia, Tom Jones. Action continues now with the introduction. There's Tom Jones shedding his colorful jacket, revealing the red and yellow against Omaha, Nebraska's Ted DiBiase. Bill? Well, like I say, right now the crowd is still hardly divided. Some feel that Teddy did cheat the dog, and others, I don't know if they've seen all the information, all the facts. But either way, this should be a great contest between two great athletes. Tom Jones always maintained and proud of his conditioning. DiBiase, we've watched for five years now, Met South, when he started his Rookie of the Year and the on the coattails of Dick Murdoch, fighting such battles against such greats as Killer Carl Cox, to where he first gained the North American title. He had a grappler in a match in Monroe that the grappler's knee and leg and ligaments were stretched where the grappler was in the one to wear the orthopedic boot. The battles Ted DiBiase's had with Paul Orndorff, with Bob Root, when Bob Root double-crossed Ted. And now it's all down to this. Quite a quite a span for such a young man in wrestling and certainly a force to be reckoned with, right or wrong, because he's in the center of things. He is the North American champion. We have a match coming up shortly that will decide who the number one contender is for his title. I'll get to say one thing. In Mid-South Wrestling, you don't get to rest on your laurels. Both men out here, scientific match. Tom Jones, DiBiase, back to their feet. Arm drag, arm bar. Say, DiBiase is sitting in the driver's seat. He's sitting where everything has to happen. When you hold the North American title, everybody in the country is shooting at you. When you're the Mid South Tag Champions, even the big guns from Atlanta come down, like John Studd and Super D, they want to try to take you on. The Louisiana champion, you got to defend that title. The whole state of Louisiana, the Mississippi champion, the state of Mississippi. So when you attract a title by the prestige and the importance of the title, so you attract the action. Wow, Tom Jones just about got a three count on DiBiase right here on TV. That would be a big upset to the new North American champion. Reverse headlock by Jones. So far, though, it's certainly DiBiase is... Still in the same style he's always wrestled, aggressive, hard, clean, fast, scientific. We haven't seen anything that shows a, a complete 180 degree in temperament or anything else. Maybe there is grounds for doubt as to what DiBiase did to the junkyard dog. DiBiase maintained, even after viewing that film clip, that there was nothing in that glove. Certainly we have nothing to prove any different. Body slam. Turnbuckle. Now, DBS is getting a little rough, a little aggressive there, and Tom Jones retaliates in kind. Tom is just going ahead and sticking him. He says, I'm not going to take any of this nonsense. Tom firing in there. Gut shot. Tom Jones is coming here to walk tall. Headbutt. That's a big one. He's got DiBiase in a lot of trouble. DiBiase's going to his tights, boy, and I can't believe my eyes. The champion going to his tights, and something is going in that club, boy, Pierce. Tom Jones had not seen it. DiBiase reverses Jones in, and he tees off. And Jones is out. Tom Jones is out. DiBiase's picking him up. Power driver. Inside cradle, boy Pierce, I think right there, one picture is worth 10,000 words in this. Look at the defiance, look at the defiance on DiBiase's face as he faces that crowd. Ted DiBiase, the North American champion, may have just embarked on a rocky, rocky road, boy Pierce. From the tights to the glove to the jaw to the pile driver, a victory for Ted DiBiase, the junkyard dog versus Bob Roop after this message from Mid-South Wrestling.